flooding and drought at the same time? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Dry, parched, lifeless, and brittle. All words to describe our ground right now as Houston remains locked in drought. It's the hard soil that's putting us at higher risk for flooding. So the question is, how is that possible? Healthy soil acts like a sponge and soaks up rain when it falls. But rock hard, drought big soil, it acts like concrete. Water can't penetrate it. Instead, it just runs off the surface and that's when flash flooding happens. Even with moderate rainfall. That's the big concern with the front we're tracking this week. After flirting with record breaking heat, our air is bone dry. So when a decent rain won't soak in, we will have nowhere to go. Raising the flood risk, even if the totals don't look extreme on paper. So how long will these conditions last? And how much rain do we actually need to break the drought? The dark orange areas on the drought monitor need more than a foot of rain to recover, while the lighter orange zones need about 10 and a half inches. And the 30 day outlook keeps Houston in the still parched category. And the just released winter outlook, it calls for a warmer and drier than average winter across South Texas, which will only deepen the drought. So yes, drought and flooding can absolutely happen at the same time. And right now, that's exactly the hand Mother Nature is dealing us.